There are a lot of things that are really exciting about working on Quark's new vessel, the Ultramarine, because it allows us to achieve different things and to provide a really unique and special experience for our guests. Our ultimate aim on the Ultramarine is to go and explore and get off the ship, but of course the ship provides some incredible experiences as well. We can be in the absolute comfort of the ship and still sail through gorgeous fjords or past stunning icebergs. The public spaces are incredibly roomy, so you don't feel as if you're on a ship with 200 other people. It feels as if you are just exploring with friends and adventurers. The accommodation is very comfortable. The staff who look after us are very professional, uh, very caring. Uh, the cabins with balconies allow you to experience a really intimate sense of the outdoors. Another feature I really like on the Ultramarine is the, the wraparound deck on deck five of the ship. It, is, it provides uh, an area to, to walk around at all hours of the day, but also that opportunity to view uh, with a bit of elevation in absolute comfort. A day on board with Quark Expeditions is usually full of activity. It usually starts with breakfast and then mostly an excursion off the ship. The ready rooms are really fantastic. They're in the right spot. They enable you to go from the comfort of your cabin down to deck two. You can get ready for your adventures and then walk such a short distance to actually step out and get out in nature. We also have a rapid deployment of Zodiacs and get our guests in those Zodiacs and, and take those experience much quicker. On the Ultramarine, we have so many different ways to explore the world around us, and that is by air, by land, or by sea. Having the helicopters at your disposal is a game changer. To see things from the ship is one thing, and it's beautiful. And then you get in the helicopter and fly up thousands of feet and over glaciers and mountains. It's completely unique. Being outside, obviously, you can get a little bit cold. It's lovely to come back to the ship, which is really cosy, always really nice and warm. You can drop into the sauna, have a steam, and there's a range of body treatments and massage treatments. It's such a luxury, especially after working out in the gym. You're living for a week with other visitors from many other countries. And I think these polar expeditions in particular draw a very interested and educated group of travelers. These lectures that they're giving, it feels like I'm back in graduate school. You learn from the people who are elite in their field. This migration in the fall quite differently because the ones in Greenland. The expedition staff give us lots of additional information about our experiences and the, the experiences that we're about to have. So they give us the anticipation of a wonderful experience to look forward to. When we've been on the experience, we can recap it and we can share it together. The restaurant's fantastic. The, the hotel staff are all incredible, um, really top notch. The food that we have is amazing. I've also really enjoyed on the Ultramarine, the Panorama Bar. It's got a library, which is nice and peaceful and well equipped. And it's been a great area where you can mix with other passengers, swap stories. Panorama Lounge is the spot to be after dinner. The expedition team does a really good job at having a lot of interesting bar talks there. Then head to the bar and everyone's happy to chat and socialize. It's been a great way to meet people. I find the comfort of Ultramarine luxurious. The Ultramarine is able to deliver our guests a unique and special experience. We can go further, we can see more and we can experience it together as a small community.